Hello peeps, welcome to Sundays with Sparky. We're in this position again, uh, there's no particular reason. Uh, I just had the camera set up here, so I thought I'd do it from here instead of from over there. Um, how have you been? I hope you've been well. I've been all right, you know. SSDD as they say, except it's not, because it's a different day, but it doesn't matter. Um, so, Movies and video games, because that's the name of the game, but it's not really the name of the game. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll just get on with it, shall I? Yes, yes, that'd be a good idea. But, oh, for God's sake. I don't know if you can hear that. Someone has decided that now is the time that they're going to mow their lawn. They've had all day. You know, it's like half past four in the afternoon. They've had all day to have done it. They've chosen now, because obviously that's when I've decided to start recording. Well, I'm just going to carry on. Okay, let's start off with games. I haven't really played much that I don't normally play anyway. Uh, I've been playing some Fallout New Vegas because I still haven't finished that. And uh, I've been playing some Hearthstone when it's been working. We had the wipe uh, this week, which was interesting. And... Uh, some of the changes that they made it made to the cards uh, I'm still getting used to uh, I haven't actually had an opportunity to play an awful lot of it um, as a lot of the EU area had login issues over sort of Thursday Friday uh, up, well basically since the patch um, I think it's mostly been sorted out now um, but yeah if you saw my patch update video, I put out two videos on Thursday, which is, is not usually part of my schedule for uploads. Um, but that's when the patch came out, so that's when I made a video. Um, I wanted to be one of the first people to get it up. Who were, um, although I didn't detail as many of the changes as I was like to, um, I didn't want to have the video go on for too long. So I, although I'd recorded a lot more, I kind of would just wanted to keep it to the the kind of main ones that I thought was gonna change the game the most. Um, I'm slowly working my way through New Vegas because uh, I don't play it all the time, and it crashes a lot. Usually, just after I've gone through a door and it loads a whole area, and then it crashes. Usually, that's how it works, which is really annoying. Uh, and sometimes it doesn't crash uh, there, sometimes it crashes somewhere else, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I was playing it last night, and I'm getting towards the end of the like the main story now, uh, and my follower decided to kill loads of people. Like I'm not even sure how or why it happened, but they just started killing all these people, and I was like, no, no, stop, because I need to speak to these people to get a quest to go on. Like It's like, leads off, it's like a... Uh, what do they call it, a breadcrumb where you start and you go through and, and this was like the end of the breadcrumb trail before something really big was going to happen and they killed them all and I was like, no so I'm going to have to go back and load it anyway so annoying so annoying but still, what can you do? you can get rid of your followers I suppose that would probably, I don't actually need them anymore but I've gotten to a point where I'm such a high level and so strong that I don't really need them, but, you know, it's nice to have company when you're going along around the wasteland in Fallout. So I think I've still got two DLC to do. Uh, although I can't remember which ones I haven't done yet. But I have still got two to do. So I'll be doing those uh, at some point, and yeah, and Hearthstone. Been playing. I managed to get some time to play that today, um, but as I say, because we haven't uh, had an awful lot of time, we're still unlocking some of the basic cards for some of the decks. So until that point, um, it's going to be difficult for me to kind of build any decks and go, "Ooh, look at this deck! Ooh, look at this deck! This deck's really cool," uh, because I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, so, what did we have this week? Beginning of the week, we had Dust. We had a new episode of Dust. Um, 
again, it's still not doing well, so I'll put out what I've got recorded, because otherwise it's you know kind of a waste of time recording that stuff in the first place. I'll put out what I've got recorded, um, but I'm not likely to record any more anytime soon, but we shall see. Um, and then Wednesday I put out uh, Hearthstone, uh, Arena, Rogue Arena. Um, I've tried to make these ones a little bit longer, the video episodes a little bit longer, just because I wasn't sure, wasn't sure if putting each game in its own individual episode was really worth it. Um, I'm still kind of toying with the format. I mean, I, I could, I could do it that way, and and then just upload one game of, of each day. But I figured, uh, I when I'm watching other videos of Hearthstone, I quite like watching sort of 20, 25 minutes worth, if I can. Um, sometimes even longer than that if they're available. Uh, but then that's just me. So, we'll see. Um, so yeah, the first one of that went up on Wednesday, I think it was. And then Friday, uh, put out the very first episode of The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing. Um, now... I think I recorded like three episodes of that. I played it for a, a good sort of hour or so. I'm still not convinced of this game. I mean, if you guys like it, then I'll record some more. But I thought it was going to be better. Uh, I'm finding that the... Not necessarily the controls... But like the way you use abilities is really not very user friendly, so we shall see. Uh, I'm not I'm not 100% convinced. As I say, if you guys like it, then I'll record some more. Otherwise, we'll um, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I've got like three episodes, I think. So we'll see how they go. But you know, it, it's a it's a it's a Diablo esque uh, kind of I would say dungeon crawler, but you're not in a dungeon. Well, I have not yet to get to a dungeon. Um, I mean, it was quite fun. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so let's move on to movies because I've been talking about games for too long already. Uh, this week at the cinema, I went to see the film called Prisoners, which is um, Jake Gyllenhaal and Hugh Jackman and some other people whose names I can't remember. Um, and it was pretty intense it was a great film though really good really really good um, it's uh, about uh, Hugh Jackman and uh, his family he's like the father of the family and they go to their friends for Thanksgiving and his Hugh Jackman's little girl and the other guy's little girl want to go out and play so they go out and they go missing uh, and Jake Gyllenhaal is the detective who tries to find out where they are and I'm not going to spoil any more but that's how it starts and man is it good there could be possibly some Oscar winning performances in this Hugh Jackman is a boss uh, and you know, I've seen. I saw him in Wolverine like a few weeks ago. There's there's limited acting in uh, in those sorts of movies. I find, um, and uh, but this this he showed his his skills, and so did Jake Gyllenhaal. He was really good, but I think Hugh Jackman kind of stole the show for acting prowess in this movie. I don't know how many more times I need to tell, say it was really good for you to realise that it was really good. Maybe one more time. It was really good. You should go and see it uh, if you get a chance because it was really good. <laughs> just for extra, you know, just going to put that another one in there. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that next week I shall be going to see... No, because it's not out next week. I don't even know why I said that. Because I think it's because it's already out in the US... Which annoys me because it's not out over here until like the 8th of November. But I did see the trailer for it and that's a film called Gravity. 
and that looks amazing. Uh, originally, I saw the trailer and I was like, I bet that would look awesome in 3D because it's all set in space and there's things flying past the camera and stuff. I was like, that'll look amazing in 3D. But apparently, not only does it look amazing in 3D, but it's also a really good plot with acting and story and you know the sort of, sort of thing you'd expect to see in a good film. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, I wasn't sure about it at first, but after seeing the trailers and after hearing stuff from people whose opinion uh, I kind of respect, um, then I think I'll probably like it. But we shall see. I've got to wait till next month. Blah. So like two, three weeks. Or, yeah, is it three weeks? Yes, about that. I think Thor comes out around the same sort of time as well, so that should be interesting. Okay, so uh, the other week, last last week I think it was, uh, I actually watched these two films last week and forgot to tell you because they were right at the bottom of the pile of DVDs and I just, I had ones that I hadn't seen that were on top of it. So that was... Oh, analyse this and analyse that. <laughs> with. have uh, Robert De Niro and Billy Crystal. Uh, I hadn't seen these movies in ages. And, uh, yeah, I was like, oh, it was like £3, I think it was, for like two movies. I was like, well, that's £1.50 movie. How bad can it be? And they're actually really good. It's De Niro, you know? I don't know what that was. <laughs> it wasn't De Niro, though. It was probably it was more like Marlon Brando. Um, and then I watched some films that that aren't brilliant. Uh, but they're kind of fun, you know, they're kind of fun. And uh, the first one was uh, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. I know what you're thinking, and you're probably right. But it was fun. It's no Lincoln, let's put it that way. <laughs> Certainly no Lincoln. But, you know, I, I like, uh, I like vampires. I've Apart from Twilight, don't get me started on that. Do not even, don't even mention it, okay? I wasn't going to mention it, but I did, and I'm already getting angry. I like vampire movies, and uh, proper vampire movies. No, this namby-pamby bullshit. Um, and I thought, I'd give it a go. I watched it at the cinema, I quite enjoyed it. You know, it was a bit of fun, it wasn't, I didn't take it too seriously. Some of it was a bit far-fetched. Uh, but then it's a vampire movie, so, well, you know, pff, um, and not all the vampires were pretty, either, which was nice. Some of them were pretty hideous, which was even better. Um, but I quite like the idea that, you know, the, the American Civil War, uh, was run partly by vampires. I found that quite amusing, um, and a nice little twist on the, on the story. Um, so yeah, you know, it's quite good. And the other one I watched was uh, the latest version, if you can call it that, of Total Recall. Which, if you uh, if you disregard the original, right, or if they had called this something else, like even if they'd called it Total Recall. And then giving it something, another title underneath. So that people didn't think it was necessarily a remake. Because it's not a remake. Because the story is completely different. At no point does he go to Mars, like Schwarzenegger did in the original. Um, and it's just like a completely different story. So I'm like, huh? What was the point? Why don't they just call it Total Recall, a completely different story? That would have made more sense because then we wouldn't have people going. Well, I'm not going to watch that then because it's a, a, you know an improvement on the original. It's not right. No, it's not going to be an improvement on the original. Um, it's like Robocop, the new Robocop. Well, actually, no, it's not like the new Robocop. I probably won't be going to see the new Robocop. There was nothing wrong with the original. Like there was nothing wrong with the original Total Recall, but then this isn't the same story. I don't know. It swings and roundabouts. People will either like it or they'll hate it. Uh, 
because of that reason. I quite like it, uh, mainly for two reasons. Um, Kate Beckinsale and Jessica Biel. <laughs> yes, I am a man. Uh, and they are, they are women. Oh yes. <sighs> oh yes. But yeah, Colin Farrell was in it as well, and it's it's a fairly generic kind of sci-fi action film. But it's quite fun, and there's some quite good set pieces in it. And as I say, if you completely disregard the fact that it's called Total Recall, uh, you know, I mean. Some of the character names are the same, and the fact that there's like a, a recall thing which gives you memories and stuff. Uh, you know, the actual film itself is actually is is pretty good, and some of the special effects are pretty good as well. But if you're a diehard Schwarzenegger fan, then you probably won't like it, because uh, I think I still prefer the original one. I'm saying the original one, it's not a remake because it's not the same story. As I say, it doesn't even go to Mars in this one. It's like, there's not even, even any mention of Mars. So, yeah, whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's that. So I'm going to go and uh, I shall thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you again next week. See you later. Bye-bye.